Hello and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, today's video is not going to be as upbeat and as optimistic as I normally am because I'm covering a topic that's not particularly upbeat or optimistic. So, as you saw by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about Toyota's Remote Connect services, which for those of you who don't know, it's basically an app-based sub subscription service that enables you to lock, unlock, remote start your your car from the app through a subscription service that you pay to Toyota. So for those of you who are new, uh, I actually had touched on Remote Connect as one of the top five best things about this car uh, back about a year ago now. Being able to remotely lock and unlock your car, and uh, specifically for the, the automatic transmission models, the remote start from the app with custom climate is such a game changer. It allows you to have the heat on and rolling before uh, you actually get in your car, which can be very helpful on those chilly days, mornings where you're going for a fun, fun drive out in, in the car. So clearly things have changed because now uh, I am making this video talking about Remote Connect in a very non-optimistic way. So anyway, what happened in between then and now that made me change my opinion on Remote Connect? Well, simply put, um, I got scammed. So when you first buy your, your car, you have one year of free Remote Connect services as an option. So I used that for the one year that I had it, and it was it was pretty good. I uh, enjoyed using it. I, I didn't really have any issues with it, right? It was, it was good. Maybe it was a little, a little bit slow, latency-wise, in the app but it never really didn't work for me, you know? So anyways, after my one year of the free free trial after I had bought the car, um, I went to go pay for an extra month or two just so I can have a uh, remote start for the cold time of year. So what happened for me was I went to pay and they accepted my payment and they had charged me for the month, which was about eight bucks, right? Um, and then it showed in the app that I needed to activate the app with the car again, right? Which uh, it's like a thing that I had done initially when I had bought the car. You just hit the SOS button here and it connects to uh, uh, Toyota roadside assistance and you just explain to them that you need to have the app paired and everything and they help you out with it, right? I had went ahead and did that, right? I called them through the car and everything. I said, hey, I just need to activate my, uh, my, my app again. So I was on the phone with them for around 25 minutes and they said that they, for some reason, weren't able to link the app in the car. I'm not sure why. Um, they don't really tell you what's going on on their system besides them saying like it won't let it go through, right? So they just gave me another number to call. It was like a um, IT support number basically. I called that number and that number was, was dead. It just didn't connect to anyone at all. So at this point I was like, what's going on? This is kind of weird, right? Like this is not normal. It's not the expected interaction that you would think to get when you pay them money for a subscription service. Anyway, another day passes and what happens is I try it again I just call them in the car again. This time I was on the phone with them 40 minutes total, right? Nothing. Like I would keep, like they would uh, say sign out of the app, sign back into the app, uninstall and re reinstall the app, right? They would have me um, remove the car from my account and then re-add it through the the car's VIN number, right? And it just didn't get anything out of it. There was no end result, right? All the time on the phone and nothing. So at the end of that, I was like, you know what? Can I just get a refund? And I, I don't really need to use this this app, right? So they're just like, sure, that's that's understandable. It's okay. Where it's uh, we are set to see you go, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Um, they said it would take uh, five to seven days to process, right? Uh, two weeks later, nothing happened. Keep in mind, right? This is just the first instance, right? What would happen too is uh, like, as I'm on the phone with them, they would remove the subscription that I paid for and then reapply it to the account basically, right? So basically like I would pay for the service, right? It wouldn't work for them to apply it to the app and the car, right? So then they would take it off my account and then put it back on my account, right? But for, for some reason, every time I got off the phone with them, it wouldn't be on my account anymore, right? Which I, I thought was fine because they were gonna refund me, so it shouldn't be on the account, that's, that's fine, right? What ended up happening is that it wasn't on the account and they didn't end up refunding me. 
So I continued with this exact same process for two to three days. I'd just hop on the phone with them and see if I, like, maybe someone else can have it work or maybe it just took a day or two to actually process, right? So I do all that stuff, right? And in the end, they don't refund me. I've paid, like, individually, right? Because, like, every time they would remove access and I would call them, they'd say, you don't have an active plan, right? So I'd just pay them again, assuming that I would have gotten a refund, right? So this happened three to four times, right? I ended up paying like 50 bucks total, right? And I didn't get access to Remote Connect services. So anyway, fast forward about two weeks, right? Um, after I didn't get any kind of a refund, right? Um, I got back on the phone with them and I said, hey, um, you guys said you would give me a refund all these times and you didn't give me a refund, right? Um, and then the person on the phone both didn't give me a refund and they said that their policy prevents them from refunding if you buy for a month. As in, if you purchase the Remote Connect services for a month, even if it doesn't work, as it did in my case, they can't refund you. So this, this does raise a couple interesting, interesting questions, right? One, why are they so willing to take all your money and then not give you support when their service doesn't work? Number two, if they really can't refund you for the one month, why would they keep taking your money? This doesn't feel like a good business practice, honestly. What's un unfortunate too is this is not like an isolated incident with, with me, right? Like if you go on the forums, right? I'll uh, throw up a few screenshots here, right? People have had this exact same issue where their app doesn't connect to their car and they've, and they've tried calling and it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like. It's not an isolated issue. They don't want to give refunds. Like, I paid for a service that I didn't get. That that sounds that flat out sounds like fraud. It comes down to my, my last point here, which is it actually worth it to begin with, you know? For me personally, the only thing I use Remote Connect for is just Remote Start, right? As in, if they put Remote Start on the key fob and didn't have it as a subscription service, I wouldn't pay for the app at all. I would have no use for it, right? like remote unlock hazard lights and all that stuff it doesn't it doesn't matter for me at all now assuming you don't run into this exact same issue that i've been in where you pay and it just doesn't work right honestly eight dollars a month especially if you're not going to do yearly plan right it's not that that much it's kind of it's kind of worth it but at the same time you have to just question right like why wouldn't they just put remote start on the key fob like are, do they care about their consumers or do they just want to charge them money food for thought I just thought I would share this with you, you guys in case one, you happen to have the exact same issue and two, just to raise awareness that this is a real concern, right? That a lot of people have had. So um, send this to Toyota corporate on their on their X page or on their Instagram, whatever. Please leave, leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Hopefully one that's more optimistic. <laughs> Peace out.